Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our digital marketing blog series. Hi, Ben. Good, good to be here, Di. Um, brushed off the old 2020 uh, um, vibe and moved into this new, fresh year, ready to smash it. And uh, yeah. looking forward to, to talking with you today. Kicking off 2021 with uh, a series of vlogs on social media. Uh, today we'll be talking about uh, how to smash it with tips and examples uh, on how to uh, stand out from the crowd on social media this year. Before we kick in then, we wanted to um, kind of ask you what would be your top tip for estate agents, how they should approach social media in 2021. Well, I think the um, the great thing, as I've said on a couple of calls today with some of our clients, um, is that, you know, lockdown one, lockdown two, lockdown three, we're over the shyness of video. Um, we're over the, over the shyness of uh, hiding ourselves away. We're all sat on Zoom calls um, and uh, we've all got these magical tools in our pockets. Um, and, you know, what, what we're big believers in is, you know, you can work with a team like Starberry to help you with your strategy, make things look awesome, you know, do some of the hard work of syndicating and reporting and making the whole thing sort of uh, tied together across all your channels. But the biggest hurdle in the past has been getting great, timely content. Uh, you know, and social's all really about current, you know, it's all yesterday's chip paper and all those kind of things. Um, and so what we want to do is really help um, sort of actually get buy-in from the whole team, not just the marketing department, to make sure that they've got that weapon of choice, the, the phone, at their beck and call to jump on and start reporting, um, preferably in, in a combination of video, selfies, live videos, um, and stills. And then if we can get that, or you as, a, a, as an agent out there can get that content together, lots of little bite sizes, then the show begins and your social channels come to life. Now we prepared today a couple of uh, slides here uh, that really talk about how to how to stand out from the crowd uh, with your social media communication. And before we dive in, uh, there's a whole uh, piece on social media trends on our website. If you go to the Starberry website, <laughs> just making the, the shout out now. So um, there are a few things that will help you um, kind of smash it on social media this year. And um, we reckon we start with the elephant in the room. Our recommendation for estate agents without being boring or stressing everyone <laughs> out with the same topic is to um, be timely in, uh, with the reliable, reliable content regarding their business in, in the current context, how it changes, um, to build trust and uh, re reassure customers. Yeah, I think that that's it. I think that it's a great channel to give updates. You know, it is it is there uh, not only just to promote property and, and your instruction, winning instructions, for example, which I know is, at, is front of mind um, for agents, but it's also to, to actually act as your publishing tool that is sort of, you know, instantly updating all your followers. So I think these examples you pulled out, Di, were just nice clear examples to just reassure give confidence to to the customer um who's following you or or people who are just merrily you know got one of the hashtags in you know signed up to our various hashtags they see this and they think oh that's good it's great that those guys have you know confirmed that they are open but they are taking the the right measures and and that kind of thing and being a bit thoughtful in the way they do it yeah, and also you can adapt or evolve your content in the whole context, uh, like presenting homes that are now uh, more sought out than <laughs> before, or how we have here uh, a quick video with a market update. How? Hello, it's Deborah from Madison, and I've just posted my latest vlog, and as promised this week, a look at the latest lockdown. What does it mean for the housing market? And my thoughts 
for the property market and the economy this year. Enjoy. So, so Deborah really is, uh, she's a legend, really. You know, she's one of the early adopters of video. She's been doing video just every week. In fact, the, the whole social is, is just brilliant, I think. Um, and uh, definitely worth a follow to get inspiration. Um, but it's working for them, you know, and we're fortunate to work with these guys. They're in my local town um, and uh, they are literally smashing it. So, yeah, check that out. Yeah. Moving on. Yeah. Uh, this is a really big one. And with the with all the insecurities that have been going on, uh, solidarity and showing support for the local community, for people in need uh, has been crucial. And I think um, estate agents are really well placed to get involved in the community and show it uh, and build, um, build their brand around those. We have here um, two examples uh, from Location Location, which are doing a lot of things um, for their community. Um, and this is um, a picture of them getting involved in their winter toy appeal um, initiative. Yeah, which uh, I loved. I mean, these guys really do uh, embrace social in, in a fantastic way. It's very thoughtful. It's very natural. It's nothing is forced. They actually do this stuff. And I think that's half the thing is actually committing to it, not because you want to win a valuation, but because you actually care and are a values led business that really do care about your community. And it's absolutely clear here. You know, I love their stories. They have fun with them. Um, but, you know, what a great thing to do this this winter toy uh, toy appeal. Um, and they do a lot more with, you know, soup kitchens and all sorts. And the great thing is they get a satisfaction. Their team gets the satisfaction. All of their customers automatically feel like they're working with an awesome company. And they love all this content that they're sharing. And then, of course, then you get the spinoff of more sales and more lettings and more instructions and so on. Um, so it, it is... It's a great thing, and uh, the world needs these kind of people and, and companies that are doing it. And I'm delighted to say that estate agents actually do do. There's many that are doing some fantastic things. Another example we have um, is Daniel Cobb, which have this amazing uh, initiative, Locally Grown, uh, in which we've been involved in creating for, on their website. Uh, but here is an example of um, them use putting that to use um in the context of the lockdown yeah i think um this is a again you know daniel cobb have always been committed to their community um you know loads of charity works you know loads of local events and really actually having fun in the community and i think that's why they are you know such an awesome boutique brand that many uh, many clients aspire to uh, many of our customers you know say god have you seen what daniel cobb's up to so um yeah, another one definitely worth watching you can just see from these faces no property here there's nothing about selling property it's just yeah. about actually caring about what you do and and i love that okay moving on this is uh, closely related to the previous point, but uh, social media will be more and more about real conversations, not that we wouldn't have them in, <laughs> when you're trying to sell property, um, but uh, it's more and more about having these conversations in social media, uh, engage with real people rather than sell, promote yourself, your brand, um, and also uh, find ways to get customers involved. So we've got here a few examples, uh, like the, the lovely Bentley Hearst, uh, which have a really nice way of communicating on Instagram that is related to their brand very much uh, about um, their services and their, um, well, the, the, the area they cover, which is the whole of Manchester. But they do it in a non-salesy way and um, they promote photographers that um, take pictures of Manchester local yeah. business and team and so on and i think you can see that when you just look at their their whole instagram it's all so tonal 
you know, their, their colors are the blues and reds and whites and everything has just got this sort of um, thoughtful, uh, you know, style to it. Um, and, uh, you know, I think that's ultimately you've got to you've got to find what your style is. You've got to find uh, what your position is and then stay true to it. So I now start seeing some of their work coming through and I just immediately recognize the brand and, and the sorts of things they're doing. But they are actually uh, promoting a combination of property services, you know, zero percent for a launch period when they launched in the area. But, um, you know, it, you can see that they are properly committed and, and they love their area as well. Uh, Manchester currently they're expanding. Um, but, yeah, that's a nice one. Two other great examples, um, obviously uh, one that comes to mind is testimonials, uh, but uh, and th that's user generated content that um, all estate agents really use, but you can also make them a bit more fun and engage, uh, engaging on social media. So we've got here an example of a video testimonial for Crux Careers. Megan contacted me a few weeks ago after coming across my CV online. Um, before um, I worked alongside Megan, I was applying for loads and loads of jobs with no success. Um, when Megan contacted me, um, I think the, the point of this is that it's a real person. Um, you can see it's she's engaging in her own right. Um, she's just been asked either through video ask, which is a tool that we like to use, makes it very easy, or just someone sent her a WhatsApp saying, hey, would you mind just giving us a one minute or 30 second piece on, you know, the results we got for you? She's a happy customer. She got a new job. Crux careers help find her that job and so it's just once you've got that bit of content it's like gold again it's engaging um obviously the one above there we love um you know this is uh just been a fantastic campaign russ and i love our hats if you don't already know it um so every one of our clients and our uh, supplier partners uh, got one and we wanted to do a campaign for Agents Giving, where everyone who sent a selfie, there was a fiver that went towards Agents Giving. It's been absolutely so much fun. We've really enjoyed it. We wanted to do it for fun first. Um, it happens to have raised, you know, a good sum of money too. So it's sort of win-win for everyone. It also shows humor, uh, shows character. And yeah, so, you know, that's another great example of getting some some good conversations that people can engage in and, and join in. in. And then I think it's, it's important to point out that you can still be uh, showing your expertise, but put a twist on it. So social media doesn't always have to be professionally presented uh, or um, you know, boring. Uh, you can have fun with your content, find new ways of presenting the same old properties or people or, uh, you know, the assets you've got uh, or the services you're promoting, uh, your knowledge, know-how of the area and so on. So, um, and there are always uh, so many formats coming up on social media all day long. Um, which uh, you should test and take advantage of. So we've got here, uh, for instance, um, an example from Daniel Cobb uh, on uh, simply promoting a property, but it has a, a twist on it. it it's uh, newly decorated and it's pet friendly. So it was about um, you know, putting that into, into that perspective. Yeah, and instead of it just being a picture of a property, which probably would have drowned out into the crowd, having the dog there, everyone loves, you know, if you can get your dogs and cats, um, you know, it's that emotive element, I think, that makes makes a difference. In the same way as if, you know, with the Alexander and Co, there's a person there, and if you get caught talking on, you know, camera, that's great. Um, but in the same breath, um, you know, this Anthony Pepe, example of some punchy numbers people like sort of palatable bite size um, stats they really stick in your head um, so you know utilizing that and instead of I mean I think just the simplest if you can just play that little bit of animation just a simple little bit of animation 
whether it's in numbers, you know, uh, N8 London, in numbers, a little bit of a bounce just catches your attention, just draws you into it. So, you know, I think that that's, that's a, a great um, a great way of, you know, showing off some of your capabilities if you're wanting to win instructions or whatever. Yeah, and I think uh, it's worth showing the Anthony Pepe grid on Instagram again because they do a really good job at uh, mixing things up and keeping a sort of brand consistency without being uh, too promotional and too salesy. So we've got testimonials, we've got the little animation with the numbers, uh, we've got property videos, people, uh, some events, uh, and so on. So yeah. it's really lovely to... It's know, got a consistency it. to it. It's It's got style. They love their brand. They're very stylish uh, business, a slick operation. And you can just feel it. It's just coming through there. It's not made up of a hodgepodge of, you know, clip art and stock photos and you know i'm almost banned myself from saying keys handshakes and lego houses but there's one for 2021 don't <laughs> use them people all right um i think that's pretty much it so to wrap things up um there's there's a lot uh you can be doing on social media but the key message here would be to keep it real um keep it fun and try to engage with people in, you know, real conversations. Yeah. And I would say just think out of the box, you know, think about what you can do and that you do and your team do that's engaging, that can show your character, can demonstrate, you know, the, the way the brand operates. But you don't need to be so cliche to just continuously talk about property. You can talk around it, get local, get, get under the bonnet. Um, and really surface uh, a bit more of the whole character behind uh, your brand and your team. <laughs>